Hello, so in this video I'm going to try to show you how to use uh, apeswap.finance and um, if you go here on the website and you go into the farms you will see some crazy APRs that you certainly want to have and more specifically you can see a very nice one here these are stable coins and you have 60% on stable coins which is pretty cool now what is the deal with ApeSwap? This is very new right now and um, it's in the Binance chain. So I would say it's quite difficult <laughs> to get your money there and out and everything. And I'm going to explain step by step how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the easy thing that is on this diagram with the number 2. Okay, we're going to skip the number one because that's super advanced. I'm going to talk about the, that in the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some BNB from, uh, and you can see the symbol here next to it, right? So this is how it will look like on your trust wallet. Then we will move that into the Binance Smart Chain, and then we will make it uh, BUSD and actually we will also convert some of it uh, into USDC again in the Binance chain and then we're going to add those two in the liquidity pool and then we're going to farm them and see that we win bananas which is the currency of the ape swap right okay so this is the process this upper part BNB BNB BUSD uh, and then we uh, stake actually the liquidity pool and get some rewards and um, we can start here on the mobile phone and we can see here that I have a thousand dollars in BNB right and uh, so the question is now what can I do uh, with those uh, because they are yellow so this is the Ethereum chain how can I move them into the Binance chain and this is what is very nice in the trust wallet you just click there and go swap to smart chain and that's it, uh, you're done. Uh, you put there uh, about max, so okay, always good idea to uh, keep some uh, coins uh, and one to one ratio. By the way, all this video again, I'm this is going to be real time and no cut, so you can see how much uh, time it takes. For example, here you see uh, processing, it might take a few minutes, but in fact. You just refresh and a few seconds later here it is so this was certainly not a minute right uh, and now I have this BNB uh, in the smart chain B BSC right so already we did the conversion from here to there and the fees are zero and the, you can transfer infinite amount of money uh, with this way as far as I can see right I haven't seen a, any problem so we converted this from this yellow gold to this black uh, yellow and this is BNB but in the Binance chain and now we would like to swap it into those two coins in order to um, put them in a liquidity pool okay so this is going to be complicated because this requires metamask so I'm in ape swap right now let me uh, give an overview I want to go here and do exchange but as you can see uh, I cannot find my BNB here <laughs> and this is a problem right uh, I haven't even connected my wallet and if I try to do it with MetaMask uh, it will actually show me nothing if you see here it doesn't show me the Binance uh, chain coins and so I have to configure the MetaMask uh, to work with the Binance chain so to do that I go and I go to settings and then uh, networks and then I add a new network now what network do I add? Um, I search in Google for BSC and MetaMask so this is Binance Chain and MetaMask and I have seen uh, this working so obviously yourself go double check everything but uh, you uh, get this URL you put it here this we can name it whatever but I name it BSC uh, Chain ID 56 which is the mainnet and symbol BNB so we do those four steps we click save at the end and that's it we have the new 
chain and it automatically switched uh, to that. Good. So if we go now back to MetaMask, we can open that account. And actually, Ape already uh, grabbed and logged us in, but you can see that uh, in MetaMask now I can see my BNB that are in the Binance chain. So we use the same tool, MetaMask, what we know, uh, and now we are in Binance. And this application, ApeSwap, now works, and we, you can see here my balance, okay, 2.8 BNBs. And this is exactly this one that we want to swap half of it in USDC and half of it in BUSD. Actually, I will do something a little bit more tricky, but now enjoy the speed, right? So I will put, uh, let's say, uh, 1.2 uh, in this one, and I will select then a BUSD, which is the one coin I want to stake. So we can see here that the price impact is minimal. Look at this now, just click swap, confirm. Okay. That was it. So now, uh, if I see my BUSD uh, balance, can you see? Four hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> I didn't have to wait for ten minutes, and um, in the next step, we are going to see the fees also, uh, right? So one point two. Uh, I want also to put another stable coin, so I will put USDC. So this is the USDC that is in the Binance chain and in the Trust Wallet it appears as Binance back USDC coin. Okay, so here we are, we want to uh, exchange those two, swap. Okay, confirm swap. So you can see how little the fee is, right? So it's 0 0.002 uh, BNBs. And now you can see also why the price of BNB goes up right now. It's because uh, all those applications, they are super fast and they have very low fees compared to the, uh, you know, Ethereum blockchain right now. And uh, we can see, that, okay, the transaction hasn't completely yet. Probably have to count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Actually, it's already completed. Uh, so it's probably around 20 seconds. So now I have two tokens, right? So I have a BUSD. And from the other side, I have USDC. And this means that I can go... If you saw what I did, I, I changed tab here. So from swap, I went to liquidity. And you can go there, do the same by the menu. And so you pick max. Um, you can see 447, uh, so that's fine. Uh, and now uh, you, you need to approve actually the Binance Chains to manage this money for you. Uh, so that's also some more fees, <laughs> which are of course minimal, right? So 18 cents, uh, approve USDC, another 20 cents. So right now, I give the smart contract the permission to trade those coins for me. Not unlimited, but only the things I stake. Okay, so you see the screen changed. I put maximum here, supply, confirm supply. Again, so you can see how low all the fees are and the speed. So I think that most of the latency is actually UI latency. Uh, probably in a matter of two or three seconds, uh, this thing is done. And right now I provide liquidity. That was it. So now I provide $1,000 uh, more or less worth of liquidity. If I click on liquidity here, I can find it there, right? And so here we are, uh, we have 0.04% of that pool, can add, remove liquidity and everything is fine. So we are now in this step where we have this liquidity uh, provider coins and now we go to the fun part which is farm. So for some reasons it wants to 
max it again and we go to the farm side okay and you can see here that I have the pool that is BUSD and USDC so those two stable coins it gives 60% uh, APR so let's uh, enable this smart contract again for a few cents <laughs> in order to do the same uh, with Ethereum we know what happens um, let's wait for this to be activated okay done uh, you saw that was 10 seconds and now I take all this liquidity and I confirm it and this is where the magic happens uh, for as long as it happens at last so I confirm that one and now I lock my liquidity so my liquidity will disappear but here we are uh, as soon as this goes through I start earning bananas right so I have uh, already uh, I have locked effectively a thousand dollars worth of coins here ah this banana takes too long Here's my, my little fraction of banana uh, and it was less than uh, probably half a minute and this will keep going up so I already uh, get some rewards of that. Now I know this looks very little but if you uh, multiply this even by a day this is a lot so more or less in a year you would have uh, 500 extra 600 extra dollars out of those thousand dollars staked which is much better than in savings account and then S&P 500 uh, but by the way uh, this is with stable coins so this means that you uh, take no risk whatsoever I mean you take all the smart contract risks and it's not financial advice nah, 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 but um, uh, at very least you don't those things do not have an independent price those are dollar equivalent uh, hold by held by different uh, entities so now what is uh, funny here is uh, we have some coins that have very uh, high APYs ah, another fraction of banana in the meanwhile so yesterday IOTA had some crazy returns uh, but right now it seems like brew uh, is the lucky guy so banana brew uh, gives 600% uh, APR so since we have a little bit of BNB left why not uh, have some brew okay so we can do 0 0.1 maybe 0 0.415 okay and let's uh, get some banana as well Okay. So now we can go and do the same in that liquidity pool and add those little brew and banana things. While we wait our banana to arrive. So again you will click max and only one of the two will be a uh, good one um, this is a matter of balances and I approve those uh, two contracts 
and I will have a little fraction of that pool. Okay. So now I can supply liquidity. You see, like, this is real. I, I don't edit this. I just don't see what I'm doing. I just press OK. And I hope everything goes well. <laughs> so, liquidity. Yep, we have now banana brew liquidity. And we go to the farm. And uh, we approve this contract. And now we click stake. We put all the liquidity there. Okay, uh, I think I will edit this one a little bit uh, because probably UI issue, it took uh, more time <laughs> than half a second. We can see now uh, we have 0.07 bananas, so in the meanwhile more bananas keep coming. But we can see here already banana brew uh, starting bringing bananas and this will go much faster because this is way uh, higher APR uh, than this one. Of course, we put much less money there, but if you put it into perspective, you see, this is already 0.02, so this goes way faster because of this number over here. By the way, you can see here on, on the wallet what happens. Like, lots of new coins will appear, especially at the bottom of your screen. And those are intermediate coins that you had in the meanwhile. And uh, all of them, uh, since you stake stuff, um, you are going to see zero balances. So you might want to remove them because they are noise. One thing to remember, of course, is that um, with those money here, you take position into those currencies. So you will have impermanent loss, which isn't a very good thing. Uh, so, yes, more rewards. Hopefully, they will offset the losses from impermanent loss. Okay, so now more or less you know all this ape swap and what it is about. Uh, obviously, if you want to uh, get your bananas out and go trade them, their price right now yeah, about a dollar. So, ape swap finance banana. And um, yeah, you can click harvest. You would have to confirm that I don't want to do that, right? Uh, and then it becomes a balance and so you can go and trade it back in the exchange or if it, when it gets in more exchanges, you can go and trade it there. So already you can see many fractions of bananas here as in comparison with the USDC. And uh, yeah. All this now is this upper part, which was the easy part, let's say. Um, but the problem is that uh, when you use these liquidity pools, um, if if there weren't, if it wasn't for the rewards, you would probably uh, wouldn't get the best exchange necessarily, or at very least, if you want to transfer m m bigger amounts, you might prefer to actually do it on the more advanced way, which is. For example, take USDC, like from the Ethereum blockchain, and then you go to the Binance Smart Chain uh, bridge, right? Binance bridge. And so over here, you click your USDC, you select Ethereum network here and Binance Smart Network, and you put your amount there, so I don't know how many dollars. And now you will need a new destination address that you will find in your trust wallet when you enable this this coin right and uh, this will then enable you to transfer from the ethereum network to the binance smart chain network and the conversion is again with zero fees and zero margin but as far as i can see right now they have a ten thousand uh, dollar limit uh, per transaction 
and then this means uh, a total of about $120,000 per uh, address per day. So it might be a little bit annoying, but it might make you um, more profit. So you have to be aware of that. And also, this is actually what they want to incentivize you to do. They want you to incentivize. They want to incentivize you to bring other coins from the, let's say, world outside the Binance chain, inside the Binance chain. And so you will certainly get a better deal there. But it's it's a way more pro, uh, way more advanced way to go with the Binance bridge. Uh, so we saw how we took BNB from out from the Ethereum world, we put it into the Binance chain, then we split it and converted it to USDC and the USD BUSD, added to the liquidity pool, and then we started farming it, and we saw that we earned banana coins, uh, and it's all happy and fast and like a very nice experience of course sometimes you will see the ui uh, failing uh, this is early days and uh, yeah this is this is actually what you are paid the rewards for because it's early days and you can you put the trust in this project yeah the guys who developed this one are senior binance developers so i hope you find this useful um, i'm sure that it's super advanced and super technical so thanks for watching and see you soon.